I'm now going to show you the one-click downloader installer. We've introduced this with Banana Box 2022 and it's now way easier to download the program, download all of the content that goes along with it that you've ordered and paid for, and it makes it so much easier to actually install as well. So I'm going to take you through all of the steps, starting with an email that you would receive once you've placed your order. You would receive an email just like this one. Now these links and serial numbers will be blurred out in the video, but basically this is a clickable link right here. And then underneath is a serial number which you can use once Banana in a Box is installed. This here is another clickable link because when I ordered the upgrade I also included the Bonus 49 pack as well. So I'll click on this first one up here and that takes me to a web page. This is then a web page similar to the one you'd go to after you click the link in your email. Now again some of the info here will be blurred out but I have that same URL up here and the same serial number shown here. We also have that same URL down here. So first of all, we're going to download and install the one-click downloader installer. Ban in a box for Mac, download and install manager. So it looks like the download has finished. So I'll install that. All right, so the install manager was successfully installed. So I will run that. All right, so the first time you run the install manager, you'll need to enable full disk access in system preferences. But it gives you some pretty clear directions as to how to do that. So step one, you just have to click here to open the security and privacy settings and you need to click the lock icon to authenticate. Now what we're gonna do is open the applications folder and drag the install manager into this area here. So there's a handy link to open the applications folder. And so the install manager, we can just drag it right into here. Now it tells you here, if prompted to relaunch, click later. So I'll click later. And then it says click the lock again to de-authenticate. So I will do that. And then it says quit and relaunch this application. And there's even a handy link to do that for you as well. All right, so now we are in the Banana Box Install Manager. One thing I wanted to note is that future versions of the Install Manager will have a little help icon at the top right corner of the screen. That's not in the version I'm showing in this tutorial, but that will be in versions after this. That help icon will take you to our website with other information and tips about the Install Manager. So I'm going to go back to that same web page as before. And now I'm going to click on this button here to copy to clipboard. And now it even gives me directions to paste this download URL key into the install manager. So that's what I'm going to do. Enter download URL. And I'm going to paste from clipboard. And I'll select OK. So that has now filled all of this in for us directly from that order. And it contains everything I need to install for the upgrade. That includes the main Ban in a Box application installer, HiQ instruments, the new playable reel tracks, which I talked about in a previous tutorial, the bonus zero pack that's included free during the Ban in a Box 2022 for Mac special, new artist performances, that includes one of the songs with vocal sets, again, that I demonstrated in a previous tutorial, and the full set of all of the new reel tracks sets 376 to 400. In addition, entering that URL also gave me this, all of the 49 pack items, since I added that to my purchase as well. But for now, I'm just going to install the main upgrade files. So before I do that, let's just have a look at some of these settings down below. 
First of all, the Banana Box install location. Now there are a few options for doing this. Probably the most common thing to do is to just install everything onto the main hard drive on your computer. And that's the default setting and that's what it's showing me right now. Applications, ban in a box on my Macintosh hard drive. There are a few other options though. For example, I have a ban in a box ultra pack hard drive currently plugged into my computer. So one option is to just install everything including the program right onto that hard drive. And to do that, I could select this option. But there's a third choice as well, which is the one that I'm gonna do. I run the program right off my main computer, but the real tracks and real drums are on that external hard drive. So for me, I'm gonna leave this applications ban in a box, but I'm gonna set a custom option for the real tracks and real drums. And then for those, I will select the Band in a Box Ultra Pack hard drive. Now it's again reminding me to make sure that I have this set to the security and privacy pane, which is what I did in a previous step. And then I'll do the same for the drum folder location. Now over in this area, this shows the download location for the installers. It also shows how much free hard drive space I have. So currently I have 50 gigabytes free, which is plenty of space for all of these installers. You can actually see the full size of all of them here. And the largest one is 10 gigabytes, then two gigabytes. So 50 is plenty for that. Now I do want to automatically install the downloaded files but I do not want to automatically remove the downloaded files once installed. If you're worried about hard drive space, you can do this, but it is a useful thing to actually keep the installers as a backup. Now, you don't necessarily need to keep them on your main hard drive of your computer. You could keep them on an external drive if you wanted to. And again, this is optional. You don't need to keep those installers, but for myself anyway, I do always like to have a backup. So everything is now set and ready to go. So all I have to do now is press the download and install all button and then the install manager will do everything for me. It will download all of these installers and it will run them all by itself without any input needed from me at all. So I can just let it do its thing and then I can leave my computer and come back later and everything will be done for me. So I will do that right now. I'll confirm that all of this is correct. I'll have a look through the license agreement and I'll agree and that's it. It's now going to just do its thing and you can see it's already started downloading the first two files. When they're downloaded it will automatically install them and then continue on with the next one. So I'm going to stop the video now, but I will check in again later and look and see how the progress is going with these downloads and installs. All right, so I stepped away for a few minutes and I just returned and had a look and it looks like the HiQ Instruments is already downloaded and installed. The main Band in a Box installer has just finished downloading and it's just automatically now started installing. And it looks like it's now also moved on to playable real track set one downloading as well as the bonus zero pack. And it looks like the main ban in a box application has now been installed as well without any input needed from me at all. All right. So I stepped away from my computer for a little while and I came back and it looks like everything except for the final real track set is already installed and the real tracks have finished downloading and are in the process of installing and now it's finished downloading and prompting me to start ban in a box so with very little effort on my part all of this new material has been downloaded and installed the new program as well and i can get started right away playing with it Thanks for watching the video and I hope you have fun.